your leg out of your leg. Check out the top rope every Wednesday on SportsTownChicago.com from 5 to 7 p.m., where you'll hear the latest about WWE, TNA, and local independent wrestling. I don't even know if that's PG. Butt scratcher. Now, Peter. <laughs> Butt scratcher. Peter, no. Butt scratcher. Now. Butt scratcher. SportsTownChicago.com doing the dirty work so you don't have to. We are back here. It looks like uh, Lions Township is going to make a pitch and change. Uh, Hill, and, Hill and Bach pitched four innings. He didn't give up any runs. Gave up one, two, two hits, three hits, one, two, three, four, five, six strikeouts. Not a bad day for him. They're up six to nothing. Number 20, we got 23. Don't have his name at the moment. But they will make a pitching change here in the uh, top of the fifth inning. Uh, there. You know, not, a, not a bad move. You know, you're up 6 nothing. You want to you keep one of your aces fresh. You know, you've, got a, you've got a good lead, and this kid looks like he's got a, got a good, strong arm. And, uh, you know, if you're them, you just, just let it keep rolling. And right, and they had a strong pitching staff last year that brought him into the uh, – as we said, they won the state title, so they had strong pitching last year. Looks like they got strong pitching this year, being the first game Leading of the season. Martini, Six innings Austin is Klein. not a bad bad outing for your first outing of the season. No, that it is definitely not. Well, five innings, I'm sorry. That was five innings. But uh, Montini will lead off the uh, top of the fifth. We will go Austin Klein, the third baseman, Mike Mann. Mangia Liardi, the left fielder, and Brandon Luftus, the catcher, will go 7-8-9 and nine for Montini. First pitch strike again. These pitchers for Lions, they do. This was a beautiful curveball right over the top, 0-2. Oh wow, that's a 12 to 6 right there. Wow. You, you go from uh, uh, Helen Bach to this pitcher here who's, who's throwing a devastating curve. It's a completely different ball game. Right. He went with the fastball to get the first strike, and then he's come back with two beautiful curveballs. Uh, Klein got a piece of that one, so he actually did hit the ball, which was good. He's getting his timing down. It's tough when you're the first guy up against the, uh, a new pitcher. And I don't believe since they are different conferences, they haven't seen each other before. Next pitch right down the middle. Ground ball, first baseman over. Tough time feeling, but gets it to the pitcher. Very good as he went to, towards the second base side of first to field it. His feet kind of slipped out from under him walking a little gingerly right now but he was able to come up with the ball and the pitcher was there to cover first base so nice play yeah, it looks like he it might be a uh, an ankle he when he when he slid he he got caught in the dirt and you know that's what happens when the field gets a little bit wet it gets it gets a little hard and compact and you, you kind of got to be careful with that uh, uh, for him he was able to you know he was able to keep it Mike Mangialardi's up now for B Bennett he struck out and is only at bat in the third inning. So he starts him off. It's a ball one. I don't say that very often for the Lions Township pitchers. Comes back with the fastball on the outside corner. One and one. Uh, very slow on that one. He was, uh, he was uh, a bit behind. Nobody on. One out. Another one right around. That one's a little high, but he went after it anyway. One ball, two strikes. Back-to-back uh, -back high pitches that he's gone after. And they've uh, they've both been smoked. The wind and the pitch. Another curveball in the outside corner. He took a swing, but not even close. Strike three. Yeah, kind of just hacking and whacking at that one. He uh, had yeah, two, uh, two high pitches swung at him, and that one was just a, a pitch on the outside that he, he swung and missed. Brings up the catcher, Brandon Loftus. He uh, rounded back to the pitcher in his only bad bat. Takes the first pitch. He swings at it. Foul tip off to the right side. Again, one ball. I mean, first ball strike, so no balls, one strike. Now the curveball. He's oh, I'm said he went after it, so that's strike two. No balls, two strikes. So that was uh pretty close, but it seemed like he did go after that one and couldn't check up. 
No balls, two strikes, two outs. Nobody on base for Montini. The pitch, another strike. There's a curveball. That one was Oof. really good. Strike three. Three outs. One ground out and two strikeouts. And that puts Montini down for the fifth inning. Again, they got no runs. But uh, they're battling here. But it's six to nothing. Lions Township. And we'll be right back. Sports Town Chicago. Dot com. Hey everybody, this is Dr. Pete, Regional Program Director for SportstownChicago.com. And let me tell you, I did the Team Dow Wellness Weight Loss Release Program, and it was absolutely amazing. I lost almost 60 pounds and over 10 pant sizes. It is absolutely amazing. And how did I do this? A month on, month off. That's my favorite thing about the program is you don't have to worry about doing this six months in a row. You do it for a month. You take a break. You maintain that weight throughout that next month, and then you jump right back on if you want to continue some more weight releasing if that is what you're going for. Why would I recommend it? I mean, absolutely no reason not to do it. This is a nice, easy, efficient, and healthy way to lose weight for you and for everybody you know. And what it meant to me, well, it helped me be the person I want to be. A lot more confidence across the board. Make sure you check it out, the Team Down Wellness information. Check out for more information on SportstownChicago.com. Say mama. Mama. Say dada. Dada. Say hi. Hi. Tony, say SportstownChicago.com. No. And back here on SportstownChicago.com, Lions Township taking on Montini right now. It's six nothing, and LT's back up to bat. And we got a replacement. Uh, Chris Bartosi, the pitcher, is going to come in to play third base. Austin Klein is going to sit down. That must be his other position besides pitching. Beavis is still the pitcher. He came in and replaced uh, Bartosi last inning. First pitch, strike one. It settled him down, you know. Got out of that, uh, got out of the fourth inning with, uh, with two uh, two runs of damage, and you know, just see what he can do with this inning. That's next pitch. He evens it up, one and one. This is uh, Keith. L uh, where are we at? Where we are? Mike Lorenz, the right fielder, he takes one down into the left field corner. It's going to be a double. He's going to maybe try to stretch it to three. He's going to come with it. There's going to be a play at third and safe. Stands up triple. Looks like the left fielder took like a wrong course to get there. And then once it hit the grass, it scooted right past to the wall. Yeah, with the way that one was spinning, it looks like he might have thought that that one was going to go out of play. But it drops down right towards the line and goes out towards the fence and you know, walking in with a triple. We're going to have a pinch. We are going to have a pinch hitter for Evan Booth. And I wish I could give you the name, but they didn't give me the lineup. So if you, know, if you have your own lineup, number five is going to bat. Evan Booth, the second baseman, had a good day. Uh, fly, to, fly to left, had two singles. But uh, he is going to sit down now and watch the rest of the game. Being up six nothing, you might as well get the rest of your teammates in there. No, absolutely. You you know you got to get uh, get some more playing time for the younger guys and and get them in there. You know as the uh, LT coach and and the umpire going over roster changes and you know going to talk to uh, Montini's coach and let them know what's also going on. Um, but yeah, so you know you're going to get the 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 change here and. This is the worst part about the, the game of baseball is, is the lineup changes and, and getting everything situated. Right, because we don't know if he's going to come back in the game and play second base. We will find that out later on, but we know he's going to bat. So man on third, nobody out. Davis from the stretch with the man on third comes home. Strike one. Still being consistent with that outside pitch is – as the ump, he's, he's been calling that all day, and he continues to do so. So the rain has stopped. We had a light drizzle for about half an inning. Ball one, one and one. And, uh, you know, enough to make the paper wet and if <laughs> get the umbrellas working, get them dusted off, and, get them and out. And be an annoyance. <laughs> yep. A little rain on my scorebook is not making it look good, but we'll do with what we got to do with <laughs> Two balls, one strike now. 
And the pitch. And it's deep drive to left field. Left fielder going back, going back. It's over his head. That'll score a run. One bounce to the wall. That's going to be a stand-up double. Yeah, that's uh, that's twice now he's uh, he's had trouble going after that one is Austin Klein. He's, or my apologies, that's that's Barrett having trouble going after that one. And you know you just gotta gotta get himself uh, situated out there. I'm not sure that's uh, no, that, that is uh, Angelardi. It's supposed to be, but there's two numbers. That's not number seven out there. That's uh, 27. That's uh, they've got him, Austin Klein. So Austin Klein must have moved from third to left field. Yep, and Bartosi's playing third now. So okay, so that would mean yes. And then Mangione came out of the lineup, not Austin Klein. Okay, all right. You can tell first game of the year for me too. But man on second, nobody out. One ball on the pitch. Two balls. Yeah, high and outside with that one. Just trying to. Trying to paint the corners, but uh, a little bit too far on the outside. This is another pinch hitter. This is number 10 in batting for Heilbach. Another ball three. So three straight bad ones here for Beavis. Yeah, trying to trying to do too much with it. Trying to overthrow right now and just needs to settle down. That one's inside for four straight. That's a walk. A little bit of chin music there, <laughs> going going high and tight. Lions, number nine, Scott Galka. So up next, number nine, Galka. Scott Galka, he's batting for Keith Lehman. Lehman was the third base, and I don't know if Galka will go in and play third. But Lehman had a good day. He rounded out the third in the third inning, but a single and a double, single in the first and a double in the fourth, so he'll... Let Gelke take a couple swings. Strike one. And Ump lights him up too. 0 oh and 2. Yeah, it's tough coming off the bench. Uh, you know, especially this late in the game, you know, you're you're kind of cold and don't really get any swings, and, and that's what's happening. Right, because of the weather and the rain, I'm not sure they had batting practice. We had a little bit of a downpour before the game started, so I'm not sure any of these teams got batting practice. Uh, they I saw them in the cage beforehand. Uh you know, but it was only a few select players, so it wasn't uh, the whole team getting able to being able to get in the cage and get some hits in. Okay. So we got no balls, two strikes, nobody out. First and second, right down the middle, and this one's in the gap in the left center. Left fielder's trying to come over. He's got a beat on it. Oh, he makes a great catch. The runner at second tie tags up and goes to third. The uh, runner on first could not get back in time to tag up. But he should have noticed the guy in front of him tagging up and went back, but not that big of a mistake being seven to nothing. But no, the, uh, definitely not that big of a mistake. You know, you don't want to run yourself into a into a force out. Right, the good play by uh, by Austin Klein. He had it on the on the run towards center field in the gap, made the good one handed catch. Yeah, had a good beat on that one. Looks like we will have another pinch hitter here for <coughs> for Lions Township. Yeah, once again, don't know who it is, so we're kind of waiting for the uh, the official announcement as to who is uh, who's coming up the bat. And uh, not going to make the announcement, so we're back underway. Davis with the pitch on the outside corner, strike one. Done a good job this inning of, you know, he's given up a run, but he's done a good job of, of getting the pitches out and, and getting them where he wants them. First and third, one out. No balls, one strike on the batter, the pitch. Down low, they're going to try to throw to first. No, he's safe. Had the first baseman been on the bag and not uh, not cheated towards the grass, he probably would have had that one in, in if the throw was online. One and one's the count. One out. As we said, first and third. Beavis checks the runner, comes home with it, a little high and in tight. He likes throwing that one every so often. And I trying to back him off the plate just a little bit, but you know, you don't wanna you don't wanna let one slip and, and hit somebody in the head. That wouldn't be a good thing. Two balls, one strike. He checks the runners and he'll come home with it. 
Right. Ooh, good pitch, and he was right on it. That one went right back to the fence. Straight back. Two balls, two strikes. Straight back to the bricks, and it takes a wicked bounce back towards the, the pitcher's mound. Yeah, we've seen it hit this wall and spark either way. We've seen it come back here and die. I mean, how about if the catcher comes back here and that thing smacks, he turns around? <laughs> that could be a surprise. But a very, very nice facility here. That it is. Two balls, two strikes. Umpire puts the ball back in play. First and third one out. The pitch out. Oh, this one bounces all the way to the wall. They're going to try to score, and that's not a problem. Not a problem at all. He tried to overthrow that one, sends it right into the dirt, and Loftus couldn't get it. You know, gets a blocker in front of it, but it sends it right up into the in the netting, and it 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 killed it from there. It dropped straight down off the net, and you know, but gave we them their ninth run. Just noticed too that he did change his shin guards. That so he did. He he was back, and he jumped on that ball. I mean, he was back here pretty quick, so made a little change there. Oh, he calls that one a strike. They call that one a strikeout. Oh, that was a little tough. Three-two pitch. It looked like it was out of. Now for the Lions. Looked like 19, it was ball four. 10, so did the batter thought trip. that too. But uh, nope, strike three. So we have another pinch hitter. Yeah, Tim Goldridge's going to be up for for LT number nineteen. Who will bat for Matt Robert? Robert had a strikeout, a base hit, and a. Little fly ball to the second baseman for his three at bats. Robert fouls one or um, uh, ball first first pitch was fouled back strike one. Yeah, good uh, good pitch right there. Trying to get uh, a couple more balls. Looks like we got to bust out a fresh one here. Uh, you had a uh, a couple hit out into the, into the the back area here and, and nothing. Uh, Nothing being able to get done. And yeah, they went to a new one maybe because it's a little wet and uh, it's a little dark here. Maybe they decided to put in a new one for a little bit here. Yep, rub some dirt on it. Did a throw it back. Yep, throw it back. So one, uh, no ball, one strike, two outs, man on third. I mean, man on second, my fault. The pitch right down the middle, 0-2. That yeah, beautiful pitch, got himself a fresh ball and some fresh seams and able to get some nice movement on that one. Looked like that yeah, was a, a cut fastball. That one just cut back door. So Lions Township's eight to nothing. They have a lead here. Bottom of the uh, fifth inning. They got, they didn't score in the first, got one in the second, three in the third, two in the fourth, and two so far here in the fifth. Montini has nothing, eight nothing. They've gotten a guy as far as second base, I believe. And that's about as far as we can, as far as they've gotten anybody. And the pitch, a little bit inside. He holds back. He took a good, good look at swinging at that one, but he held up. That was a great pitch, trying to get him on the inside with that little hook. Just didn't bite on it. One ball, two strikes. Beavis checks the runner at second. Shortstop's playing a little game back there, and he throws home right down the middle. Ground ball in between. First and third for a base hit. There's going to be a play. He's going to wave him. The throw is not going to do anything. Going to go down to second to throw to second, and he's out. Man, not a smart play right there by Romero. Just, uh, you know, try to take a take an extra base when it was, was it needed. You had two outs. You try and keep that inning alive. Right, and you got to take it just because uh, the ball went past the first baseman. It wasn't a very good throw home, and for that reason, I'd have stayed too. But he's out. That's going to be, um, well, the first baseman actually touched it. That's going to be 9-3-2 six <laughs> that's a that's a big one right there bill <laughs> <laughs> i can't add them up but i can tell you what the numbers were yeah same here so montini gets out of the inning but they gave up three there so that's nine to nothing montini and we will be right back sportstownchicago.com over here at jamsonair.com we play anything and everything you might hear How about this tasty track? We have them all. Well, maybe not that. Jamsonair.com. Radio when you want it. Lions and tigers and the bears. The bears. 
on SportstownChicago.com. And we are back here at Lions Township High School in Lyons, Illinois. This is SportstownChicago.com. I'm Bill Bringman with Kyle Griffin. And it looks like uh, Lions Township has told everybody else to get out of the dugout and go play a position. <laughs> so they have made wholesale changes. They will keep the pitcher the same. And we will try to get you those names if we can. I don't know if that's going to be possible <laughs> there, Bill. Them not giving us a full lineup card. Exactly. But, uh... Montini's going to stay the same. We're going to lead off with the top of the order here in the fifth, or in the top of the sixth for Montini. Sixth inning, I couldn't read. The rain made the paper all wet. That's a six, not a five. We're top of the sixth. This will be Chris Chris Luntin. He has a single and a double in two at-bats. He's been most of the production here for Montini. A speedy little left-hander, makes good connection on the balls, and, and knows how to hit to the gaps. Yes, center fielder, left-handed batter. As you said, very speedy at the top of the order. And we have a little action. It looks like just in case um, Lions Township has a pitcher going down to the bullpen. So here we go, ready to start the sixth inning. Everything's in order. The pitch. A little low, ball one. Yeah, trying to trying to overcorrect that one. Uh, trying to get it to go inside, but you know, it just drops down. Next pitch. A little high and outside, but he calls it a strike. Yeah, like that said, one, uh, we're, we're a little off center here, so I'm not right behind home plate. So we'll let the ump have the benefit of the doubt. At the knees, strike two. Yeah, going up top, down low, and right now he's just, just calling everything. And the pitch again. Got the curveball, and he makes some swing. That curveball in kind of jammed Lenti, and he had to go all the way around. Strike three. That it did. It definitely jammed him. He, it was a funky now swing, and, and uh, Eddie Baba. yeah, just couldn't couldn't get anything on that one. That brings up the shortstop, Eddie Baba. He had a uh, strikeout looking in the first. Here's the first pitch, and he rips one to left field, right at the left fielder. So that's a long out. Good hit, good swing. But as I said, he uh, was out looking, striking out looking in the first. He had a fly ball to a soft liner to the shortstop in the, in the third, and now a fly ball to, to the left fielder. This will bring up Ben Dobinsensky. And the first pitch, curveball inside corner, ball one. And going back to that last at bat, it was a good pitch over the middle of the plate and just able to get some good wood on, or good uh, good metal on it. But just couldn't get anything to so go. Ground ball to third. Thurman makes on a nice hop. Good throw. Three up, three down. 6-3. Got the Sunday hop at third. And he scooped it. Made the good throw across the diamond. I love Sunday hops. <laughs> All right. So that's it. It's still 9 to nothing. Uh, Lions Township in charge. And this is Bill Brinkman, Kevin Griffin, Chicago, SportsTownChicago.com. Be right back. SportstownChicago.com is the internet sports station that is located at the Illinois Center for Broadcasting in Lombard, Illinois. We offer you a chance, or should I say, an opportunity to become an on-air personality, get invited to live sporting events, and we teach you how to interact with your listeners. Get the training you need to get in the broadcasting industry. Just go to SportstownChicago.com or dial 630-916-1700. In Illinois, more than 300,000 students compete in interscholastic programs taking place in classrooms, auditoriums, gymnasiums, city parks, and stadiums. Students with extracurricular activities tend to have higher grade point averages, better attendance, lower dropout rates, and fewer discipline problems. IHSA sponsors 35 programs that enrich the educational experience and shape the lives of young people in a positive way. Support the schools, teachers, coaches, sponsors, and students who take part in activities sponsored by the Illinois High School Association. Why are we so blessed? I think it's pretty obvious. We're in a league of our own on SportstownChicago.com. My heart's a stereo. It beats for you, so listen close. Hear my thoughts in every note. Oh, oh. Make me your yeah. radio. And turn me up when you feel low. Turn it up a little bit. was meant for you. Yeah, right Sing there. along to my stereo. 
And we are back, Lions Township High School in Lions, Illinois. We got the Lions Lions against the Montini Broncos. Montini's out of Lombard, Illinois. They are Suburban Catholic League school, and Lions is a public league in the West Suburban Conference. Number 18 is batting four, four Lions. One first pitch ball. As I said, we're a little bit, uh, we don't have a lineup card for, this, for the uh, substitutions for... LT. Yeah, we're bringing in all the all the younger underclassmen here just to get them some playing time. But uh, you know, for for Montini, this pitcher's got a, a really weird delivery, and it, it's kind of hard for me to pick anything up that he's that he's throwing. It's it's kind of like a a rock back and and pinch my arm in, and it's just weird. And his name, number thirteen, Barrett Lipinski, is the new pitcher for uh, Montini. They have kept all the regulars in. He's the only substitution we have. But, yeah, it's a little the vulture type of thing from uh, <laughs> back in the day to whatever he throws in there. So he's got his own, def definitely has his own motion. That's definitely a, a weird weird combination of the Phil Regan type. <laughs> you could throw a few different motions in there. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody out. Tries a little off speed on the outside corner. Ball three. I originally thought he was a he was a knuckle knuckleballer <laughs> with the way he was throwing. Another one fouled off to the right side. Well, Montini goes to Lyle after this. They'll play a game tomorrow. So they've played 19th one. They played uh this have four games in a row. No, they had two games, 19th, 20th, and 22nd and 23rd. So they played two games at a time. They'll go to Lyle tomorrow and play in the back to backers off the lines number right there gives so up they walk some gives up the walk right there uh, you know no outs so not a good way to start definitely not so this is number 2034 so, like I said, we don't have that ball bounces in. Ball one. He'll be batting for Tom Brennan. Pinch hitter here. And after this, uh, Lions goes to Brother Rice. That will be uh, the 24th. That'll be an 11 a.m. game. And Brother Rice, the ball gets by the catcher. The runner will go down to second. And this grass here. That LT is very slow. It's very thick, and, and it's uh, almost as if they left the grass cuttings, the grass clippings out there. So anything that's dragging through this this grass is just getting getting caught up. Yeah, it looks like Lions plays a pretty good uh, preseason. It's only a short preseason schedule, about four games. They play in Montini, Brother Rice, then they go to Revis, which is in Burbank, Illinois, and then Sandburg down in Orland Park. So they get a little wide variety of a Catholic League and private schools. Then they'll play Naperville Central, probably be the first game of the uh, schedule here, of the uh, conference, of your conference schedule. Yeah, the one thing about being out this way, you you you're very close to the city, so you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get some South Side Catholic leagues that you're playing against, and you're also gonna get the the West Side Catholic leagues you're playing against. So ball four there and on a pass ball on ball four. So the runner on second on a pass Off ball went from first to second. Now he's at Blake third. Colbert. So we have first and third. Nobody out. Two consecutive Blake. walks. Yeah, up next is number 13, Blake Kopech. He is batting for Blake Murray, the left fielder. So as Kyle said earlier, all the uh, sophomores or juniors or whoever are getting there. And he rips one. They had the infield pulled in to try to keep the run, and he smacked it through the pulled-in infield on the second base side. Run scores. And I think that's the game. Yeah, that it is. That's the, that's a 10-run rule right there. And that's uh, that's high school baseball for you. <laughs> as quick as it starts, it ends. That it is. So that was a single. And drove in that 10th run, and that'll end it. So 10 to nothing, Lions Township uh, on the road to defend their state title takes Montini 10 to nothing in six innings. A great pitching uh, set, uh, a great start by Steve Heilbach. All these kids that have been waiting to uh, play for Lions after they had, they had a senior-dominated team last year, 
And uh, they got in and proved that they're on this right path to go defend their state title. Montini, I would imagine they're a little bit out of their league because, um, well, here's a 3,300 kids in uh, Lyons Township, and Montini was only uh, 1,150. So, I mean, it's good for them to get over here and get to play your, you know, last year's state champs. You can't, you know, have a problem with doing that. Anytime you can get a little better class of competition and play them, it only can help you down the road. Absolutely. You know, you want to play the, the tougher competition, just like you said, because, you know, if you – if you're a young team or you, you know, you just, you want to, you want to be able to get that experience of playing the, the higher caliber teams in, in all the leagues or throughout the state, I, I could say, you know, and, and LT, they're the defending state champion. So for Montini being a, a smaller school, you know, you want the opportunity to play in LT or, or a St. Lawrence or, or a St. Rita, the, the top caliber schools, you know, you want, you want the opportunity to play them. And the best thing, too, I'm not sure of the facilities at Montini at the private Catholic high school, but great facilities out here. Great to come out here and play them in there, you know, and get a little road trip under your belt. I mean, they're fairly close here. Uh, Western Springs and Lombard, it's not that far. You know, the distance isn't that far. We had a little rain, but, uh, no, it was a great game all the way, but 10 to nothing, and the 10-run rule went into effect. So Lions wins it 10 to nothing. Yeah, and that's going to do it for us here. At Lions Township, the home of the Lions, where they take out Montini 10-0. And uh, our next baseball broadcast is Monday. Um, Immaculate Conception. And um, that's going to do it for us. Bill Brinkman and Kyle Griffin here on SportstownChicago.com. We'll see you Monday.